I'd say this is a do not disturb sign, wouldn't you? Hello, hello, hello. So I wanted to take a look at Blade Dancer's Edge. It's UUMP 1K. Now it's about 218 megabytes and it was ported by Will of the Wisp, created by Gom Puja and Bchick3. Now the thing about this mod is it's an interesting armor set if you look through here, though I'm not sure some of these pictures show everything correctly but still it's an interesting armor set but the way they actually implemented it is kind of just crazy and i'm not sure you well you just have to see it and then see what you think about it so let's go through this first it says it's uump and i suppose it is uh, it's heavy armor, it's craftable and enchantable, however, there is a trick to that. Uh, they say it has 14 pieces, it really has 13 because for the Xbox they had to tie the underwear with the breastplate and the top to make sure that it would be compliant so you don't get any nudity or anything, which is good, okay? Now, well, unless you wanted nudity, right, okay. So the way it's implemented, one of the problems with it is you can find the armor in Gloomreach Cavern under the water. Fine. I, I decided not to go that route. Or you can get the crafting hammer. Without the crafting hammer, it will not show up in the forge for you to craft, which is another one of these stupid ideas. But what really makes it worse is they put it in the East Empire Company warehouse next to the cheese wheels. So I'll show you where that is. It's really very lame. But like I say, this is this is a good idea gone awry with the way it's implemented. Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it that way because it really just makes it far more complicated to actually get to the armor. And there's more complications rather than just this. But anyway, let's go ahead and hop into the game, and I'll start showing you some of that. Um, and then you can make up your own mind. All right, so first you have to sneak into the East Company warehouse situation. Let me show you on the map where I'm at. You have to go into the East Empire Company warehouse from the Solitude docks. I'm using the God Ring, so when I sneak, I'm basically invisible. You have to find these cheese wheels, which is up above the regular docks. These cheese wheels up here. And then you'll see the hammer is on top of that box right there. See it? And then they call it the Blade Dancer's Edge Tool. Okay? So that's where the hammer is. You just take that. Now you can go to a forge and do your business, right? Now you notice I'm still sneaking because I'm not supposed to be in here right now. And they fussed at me for even coming in here. But once I put on the God Ring and was sneaking, it was fine. So hold on a minute. I'll take you to the... Uh, cheat room and I'll show you the other things you need to know all right so this is the full outfit the heels boots whatever do sink into the floor I have a slight fix for that there is a little clip in here right there at the top uh, where the thigh and the butt meet basically there's a little clipping there the rest of it looks pretty good now what I am wearing here, well let me show you how to make this first, because that will help. Okay. Well, one thing, this does have uh, physics in it, TBBP, and you can see, you can see that there, and you can see it a little bit in the booty too, but nonetheless, I just wanted you to know that this is the complete set, and when you put this on, let me show you how the weight slider affects that. It does affect it some. You can be very thin or not so thin. But you can't be really big. It makes it sound, when it says UUMP, it makes you think it's going to be, uh, you know, allow you to get up to a bigger size than it does. But anyway, that's beside the point. So what they did when I talk about a bad implementation, not only do you have to have that hammer, but then you have to come here and you have to look in all these different areas. There's a couple of pieces in steel, a 
piece in leather. Um, let's see. And then I think the rest of it is in, mainly in ebony. Mainly. Hold on. There's this in ebony. And then jewelry. Doesn't jewelry have a piece? It has the choker piece. So all of these things. Now, also the way this is made, you have a couple of options now. And some of this is good. However, again, the way this is implemented overall is kind of kind of bad in my opinion. Um, but you have some options which are good. So you can make these individual pieces and I've already done all this. You can make the individual pieces and then when you have all those individual pieces made you can make the combined armor. Now there's only a couple of pieces missing from the combined armor. What's missing from the combined armor is the choker, the necklace, uh, the gloves and the boots, which they call sabotons, okay? Which is fine. If you're familiar with a lot of games, they'll say sabotons, okay? So, that's the only pieces that you would otherwise need. Otherwise, you can make pieces individually and try out the individual pieces and kind of come up with your own combination. Now, that's the fun part of this that I think is pretty good. Now, some of these items require strange a strange item. They require the miner's clothes. I don't know why they would include that as a necessary thing, except they're just trying to be weird or funny, I guess, and it's just kind of dumb. Nonetheless, you can get miner's clothes, and if you have the cheat room, you can get them, and you can create as many miner's clothes as you might need, but it's just kind of, it's another one of those things that's like a questionable decision that really, it doesn't add to your fun, it just kind of makes things difficult. So, the ebony contains most of the real armor pieces, and I think that was their idea. The gloves aren't really armor, if you look at those, but nonetheless, um, I think that was the idea here, is that this is most of the armor pieces. Leather has the only thing that goes on your legs like that, that I guess they're saying that's leather. And then, uh, what was the other? And then, for some reason, under steel, they had these parts, which I guess have maybe a little chain mail on them. Anyway, this was their decision, and it just scatters things out across your forge. And the jewelry has the choker, of course. I think that was everything. Um, let's see, how many pieces is that? So that's, oh, I'm all over the place. That's one jewelry. Okay, so that's 12, 13. So that's all the pieces. Not counting. Actually, there are 14 pieces if you count the complete set as its own thing. Okay? Which I have no problem with that. The complete set isn't quite complete, though. So I just want to make sure we're clear on that. Alright, so let me hop out of here. So she's wearing the complete set. And she's wearing the choker. I'm going to get you a kind of a close-up on the choker here. See that piece there? I'm going to remove that. See, that's without the choker. And then with the choker. It just adds a little something. It's nice. It's decorative. Okay? Alright. So, other than that, she's wearing that. She's wearing the gloves. You can see I accidentally made two pairs of gloves, which don't hurt anything. You can only wear one at a time. But, you can take them off. You don't have to wear them. And that still looks good. Now, the problem with the sabatons going into the floor, if you take them off, you have to find some replacement. So, there's a way to get around some of this, and I've, I've kind of been playing around with this a little bit. Uh, let's take off the combined piece. You can see I'm using a UMP body underneath. That seems to be working the best for me right now. I haven't tried other bodies. They didn't specify anything. So you can try different pieces of this all. If you don't use the combined, you could do the breastplate. And then you could decide what you want to use. You could use the gloves. And greaves you could do or not. 
I would recommend probably not if you're going to do what I'm going to do. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some boots from another mod, which have heels, but basically match the black on this outfit. Okay, and I'll show you that other mod at the end. If I were to forget, of course, let me know. Um, but the van braces, that's basically the gauntlets. And notice the gloves still show. You can take the gloves off, watch, or back on. Okay? All right. So then you can decide what you want to wear. Now, if you don't want to wear that metal top, you I mean, the, the breastplate, the metal breastplate, you can wear this top instead. That's an option. And then you can wear whatever armor you want or don't want. It's up to you. Now, if you wear the sabatons without anything else, they do have those high riding like socks or whatever, but they still sink into the floor. So you may not want that. That's why I was doing something else. You may be able to find other boots that will work for you. But I just thought as an example, these boots are black and they, they kind of go, I think they kind of go with it. So I think it's workable. Then you have this tacit, which you can wear if you want. I, I don't think it serves a lot of purpose. Same with the skirt. You can wear it if you want, but it's not really a skirt. It's really just decoration. Um, there's the legs. Now that's the leather legs that kind of go with this top. And like I said, you don't have to have those van braces, the gauntlets. You could wear this. This would be one version of the outfit, of course, that you could wear. Or, if you wanted to go the other route, you could wear the breastplate. You could throw on, let's see, let's throw on some pauldrons. And let's throw on the van braces. Now, I'm not going to put on the boots since they sink into the floor, but you could do this. This would be an alternative, maybe not the best alternative. It's kind of up to you. You might prefer to go ahead and say, well, I'm going to do the greaves and this anyway. Now, the only thing is my boots, you might, be able, you might have to find different boots. These boots clip into the armor a little bit. Not too bad, but a little bit. So let's take them off. The only problem is when you take them off, then you've got bare feet. So, But it's modular enough. You could find some other possible black shoes or something that you could use. That's why I say that the armor and everything here, it's, it's a good idea. It's kind of a unique idea. There's a lot of... Uh, asymmetrical stuff going on I think perhaps maybe a little too much because it makes it hard to do certain things especially since the boots go into the floor but it's not horrible uh, definitely not horrible it's uh, it's actually a pretty good mod depending on what you like now everything being subjective right so you've got all these pieces to work with. You can mix and match, or you can just do the combined one. Now, if you throw the combined one on, a lot of this stays on. So you can actually double down and get a lot of extra armor out of this if you want it, which I think is funny, but you can. And you could wear the boots if you wanted. I think you can also, yeah, you can wear a lot of this except... These three pieces, the breastplate, the armor combined, and the uh, and the top, you can only wear one of those. But all the others will combine up, and you can wear them however you want. And you can, like I said, you can overlay this with these items. And I'm not sure if you can enchant all that. So let's take a look and see what we can do as far as tempering and enchanting. We'll just, and we'll go ahead and treat the sabatons. They came with this. We'll treat them like this. It's too bad they didn't fix them so they didn't go into the floor, though. But let's just go ahead and see if we can temper all of this. And if you temper that, that's going to be 104.
So it looks like so far we can temper all of this. If there's an exception, I haven't noticed it or remembered it yet. We may find something. I accidentally made two of those. All right. So let's see if that tempered everything. Okay, so... Well, of course, the choker, no. Okay, and the legs, no. Everything else got tempered. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now let's see if we can enchant everything. Because if you can enchant everything and you could double up on wearing some of them, you could really make yourself really super, super powerful. Now, the funny thing is, if you can only enchant this one piece with one or two enchants, wow, you're kind of limited then, right? But since you can double up... I'm just doing random enchants. These these don't mean much. But it's good that you can enchant the choker. That's good. If we can enchant all of these, that would be nice. Oh, look at that. Do the blockage. It grieves so far. Yeah, looks like most things are going to be enchantable so far. Let's just keep riding that and see. Yep, look at that. Now this is enchantable even though you couldn't temper it. Now you'll notice too that all of this is heavy armor, all the sabatons and everything. Now the skirt is light armor, so I'm sorry I'll take that back. The skirt is light armor. All the armor stuff is, is heavy armor. The top and the skirt is light armor. Uh, the van braces are heavy. So most of this is heavy armor, not all of it, so misspoke there, sorry. But uh, most of it is heavy. But on the items that are more clothing related, you know, they are light armor. Which at least you still get something out of that. It looks like everything is going to be enchantable, but you never know, so let's keep going. Wow, okay. So they went to some trouble to make sure you could enchant things. That's good. All right, let's see here. Okay, so this will be the end of the Ambracers or the Ambraces or whatever. All right, so let's see how we're looking now. Take a look at our inventory for a second. Alright, so we were able to enchant, I think, everything. I have to double check because I don't always remember everything. No, we, we enchanted everything. So, even though everything is not temperable, everything is enchantable. So... Then if you count the fact that you can double down on wearing some of this, you could really overdo yourself. But, you know, that's a, that's just a thought. Something you could do if you wanted. And you'd still have all this other stuff on. You're only going to wear one pair of gloves, so. And one pair of boots. And remember that the top and the uh, breastplate and the chest piece. Those are the three pieces that are interchangeable. You can't wear both of them at the same time, but you can still wear all this stuff on top of the complete outfit, which is kind of cool. 
that allows you to double down on some of your armor and some of your enchantments. That might be overkill, but it could be fun if you wanted to do that. So again, overall it looks pretty good except for the boots going into the floor. I have that workaround for doing that, and I will show you that uh, basically using these black boots. And then if you don't want that little bit of clipping in the armor, you can just either take that part of it off. Let's see, that is the, is it the greaves? Yeah, you can take the greaves part off. Oh, let's go back up here, let's do this. You could do something like this. I think that looks goofy. I don't think I would do that. Um, you could take this off. Again, that may or may not be something you would be interested in. You can always switch it up and do something like the top like that and that starts to make it look more reasonable even though you know is it reasonable and eh, it's up to you or you may be able to find something else that will work for you it's just thoughts i'm just trying to throw out some ideas to help you out okay all right let's hop out and take a look at the mods because really if you sit down and play around with this you might be able to find something that works for you that i haven't thought of with fewer items or whatever so all right, so this has been Blade Dancer's Edge UUMP 1K, and uh, it's about 218 megabytes created by Gom Puja and Bichik 3. Again, the implementation overall is kind of crazy and kind of, you know, it, it makes it a little harder for you to put it to use, but you can use it. I did not show you where to find this in Gloomreach because I did not want to go to Gloomreach. I could have, I guess, but I wasn't interested in doing that. It was easier for me to just go to Solitude and sneak in there. And that's probably what you would want to do, too. Uh, well, it's up to you. You may want to go to Gloomreach, but um, I would prefer, really, that things just be craftable at the offset. And I don't really require hammers and books and all that. I don't generally want to keep my forge menu clean. I want it to have what I have in my game on my forge menu. And if I overload my forge menu, that's my problem. So, But that's just my thoughts on that. These are the boots that I was talking about and I've mentioned in other shows. You can make these boots and it, there's different colors of these boots that you can make. I did a show on this mod and a lot of times you can use the boots from this mod to help you um, work out problems with some other mods where there are boots just going to the floor. It's not always going to work. It's not always going to be the best option, but it at least gives you some extra options, okay? And I think it looks okay with this outfit, depending on what you're using. All right, so that's everything. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I will catch you later. So I want to acknowledge these people who donate to the channel, who support the channel. They put their money where their mouth is, and I really do appreciate that. So thank you to these folks, and thank you to everyone for watching and supporting the channel. This has been a How That Smarts production.